Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. Hi everyone, my name is Lexi Herman. I am so excited to teach you my lesson today. We are learning about how to find the main idea of a story and then quote from the text. To help along the way is going to be our quotation caterpillar. He is here to help us find the main idea of a story. Today, we are going to make a quotation caterpillar together. To make our quotation caterpillar, you are going to need two pieces of paper that are different colors, a pair of scissors, some tape or glue, and a writing utensil. Let's get started with today's video. Thank you for joining me today. To start, I have laid out all the materials that we are going to need for our activity in this video. You will see that I have two colors of construction paper. Mine are red and yellow, but you can have any colors that you want. To start, I'm going to take my yellow piece of paper and cut it into six strips using my scissors. You can see that they are not all equal size, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter for this activity. When you are finished, Take your first piece of paper, take your writing utensil, and write the word who on the strip. When we are trying to figure out the main idea of a story, we can start with who is in the story, meaning who are the characters. This starts our quotation caterpillar. When you are done writing the word who on your strip of paper, take the paper and fold it into a circle like this. When the two ends meet, take your piece of tape or your glue and attach the two ends together. This is the first link of our quotation caterpillar. Next, take your second strip of paper. On this strip, write the word what. As we continue to build our quotation caterpillar, it is important to list the steps that lead us to identifying the main idea of a story. For this link, what means what are the characters of the story doing to create the plot of the story. We can reference the last link, who, to pinpoint characters and use the word what to describe what the characters in the story do to create the plot. After you're done writing your word on the link, we are going to attach our what link to our who link. To do this, take your what strip of paper and string it through the who strip. We are starting to build the body of our quotation caterpillar. When your what link is through your who link, take your piece of tape or glue and attach the two ends of the what link together. It should end up looking like this. The who is vertical and the what is horizontal. Now we have two links of our quotation caterpillar, but we have six strips total. Grab your third piece of paper and let's make another link for our quotation caterpillar. On your third piece of paper, write the word when. This link of our quotation caterpillar indicates that we have to find out when the story took place. We can see the story used past tense or present tense. We can use the last link, the what link, to help us create the time limit of events in a story or the plot of the story. Yay, we have another link to add to our quotation caterpillar. Like the who and the what link, we are going to attach the when link to the pre-existent what link. Just like before, take your when strip of paper and string it through the what strip of paper. When your when link is through the what link, take your tape or glue and attach the two ends together. Our quotation caterpillar is looking amazing. We are halfway done with the body. Next, for your fourth strip of paper, write the word where. This link of our quotation caterpillar describes where the story is taking place. In the story, this would be the setting. From our links already in the quotation caterpillar, we can use the who link 
for characters of the story to help determine where they might take place. We can also use the what link to help us decide what the setting is like. We can also use the when link for the setting as well. Our quotation caterpillar is getting a little bit bigger. We can use the links of its body to help determine the main idea of a story. So far, we have the who, the what, and the when link. Now, go back to your four strip of paper and write the word where. You should all know the drill by now. Take your where strip of paper and string it through the when strip. Now, use your tape or your glue and fold the two pieces together. We are more than halfway done with our quotation caterpillar. He is getting so long. And now it's time to add our fifth strip of paper. On your fifth strip of paper, write the word why. This link can be a little bit tricky. The why of the story means why the characters are doing certain things in the plot. The why link is a big connection between all the already existing links. The why can be shared between other links. We can use our why link for questions like, why do the characters act a certain way? Which would be from our who link. We can also use the who link for questions like, why is the setting in the middle of a forest? This question would be from our where link. In conclusion, the why link is a big overview of all the other links already existed. It uses four other links as part of its answer. Now, let's add our fifth link to all of our other links. This time, take your why strip of paper and string it through the where strip. When your why link is through the where link, tape or glue and attach the why link ends together. We are onto our last link of our quotation caterpillar. I am so excited to see him all finished. Finally, on your last and sixth piece of paper, write the word how. This link is a little different. As you have noticed, the other five links start with the letter W, except this one. The how link is similar to the why link because they both need to find other links to describe the main idea of the story. The how link explains how the plot is arranged. For example, we can use the how link to describe how the characters did something in the plot. In order to do this, we need to use our who link to answer this question for the characters. As you can see, all the links in the quotation caterpillar are intertwined. That is why they all link together. In order to know where, or the setting of the story, we need to know the who, or the characters of the story. We also need to know the where, where they all live. Just like the links of the caterpillar, the elements that lead to the main idea of the story are all linked together. It is now time to attach our final link of our quotation caterpillar. Take your how strip of paper and string it through the why strip. how link is through the Y link, fold the two pieces together and attach with your piece of tape or your glue. We are all finished with the links of our quotation caterpillar. Now that we have assembled the body of the quotation caterpillar, we need to add a face, of course. I am going to use my red sheet of paper to cut a strip with my scissors. After I'm done cutting the piece of paper, I'm going to attach my caterpillar's head and slide it through the how link. After you attach the head to the body of the links, you can draw anything on the face of your quotation caterpillar. You can even take some strips from your paper and make antennas. And that is our quotation caterpillar. You can name him whatever you want. I think I'm going to name mine Mr. Cat. I hope you were all able to follow along with this activity and learn a little bit more on developing the main idea of a story. This activity should help you find direct quotes from the text and create the main idea of the story. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we will be back with more videos.